Imagine a place that allows you to explore the world that surrounds you. This is Oklahoma, the hub of America. Imagine that. Imagine that. That right there is part of a new branding campaign for the state of Oklahoma. Our new tagline, imagine that. And state leaders want the new look to revamp tourism, improve job recruitment, and bring investors into the Sooner State. And the new campaign was unveiled yesterday by Governor Kevin Stitt and our guest this morning, Lieutenant Governor Matt Thanks. Finnell. Thanks so much for being here. Of course. You're also the state secretary of tourism and branding. That's right. So we got to know what inspired this new brand? Why do we need a new brand and a new tagline? Yeah, well, I mean, first off, I think we're better than okay. Uh, <laughs> Oklahoma is okay has kind of been our tagline, our, our slogan for a while. We want to kind of freshen up. Kind of a modern, new, fresh, vibrant uh, look for the state of Oklahoma. Oklahoma is really the most diverse state in the entire country when it comes to our terrain and our people. And I think we need to tell that story. Diversity is something uh, that is a very big deal about when we're talking about retaining or recruiting talent to any state. Yeah, and so, I mean, whenever you were coming up with this, and I say you, you weren't the only person that was working on this. You weren't like just laying in bed one night saying, oh, you know what, I'm gonna come up with a new logo right. and, a new, yeah. <laughs> and a new brand. Uh, how did this all come to be? How many people were working behind the scenes to, to get this in place? Yeah, no state's ever done it this way. Usually you go out, you hire one person to tell you what your brand is. You pay them millions and millions of dollars a lot of times. We didn't do it that way. We hired a facilitator, yes, to facilitate over 200 volunteers in the state of Oklahoma uh, uh, all individuals that work for p public relations advertising firms, most of them, some in the private sector. Uh, over 200 people came together. We split them off into nine different subcommittees, and they've been really building the brand. So this is a brand for Oklahoma, built by Oklahomans. Yeah. As you would have with anything, you know, people like to comment on things. Sure. So one of the ones that we saw that was kind of yeah. interesting was saying, people were saying it looks like the Texas star. Yeah. Yeah. Any familiarity there? Yeah, well, I mean, uh, so this is the American star, uh, and this star is in a lot of different states, but we really want to own, Oklahoma is the hub of America. If you want to see America, you got to see Oklahoma. Uh, so we want to own that. We're not going to let any other state claim uh, that they're more American or they're more authentic, uh, <laughs> authentic experience than, than Oklahoma. This is not just the crossroads of, of America. This really is the hub of America. And so that's the, that's the star from our original state flag that everybody loved. Mm -hmm. And so we said, hey, let's bring, let's bring the past into the future. And that's one of the reasons that we have the star. Again, with the chevrons kind of pointing inward, really pointing to our military history. We're really playing to our military strength uh, with our new mark. Uh, we, one of the largest veteran populations of any state. It's a big part of why we are Oklahoma and so authentic. Uh, and, and it's a big, it, something I'm really proud of that we really tapped into the Chevrons. Yeah, and so I mean, something else folks were, you know, saying on, on social media was, you know, well, how much did this cost? You know, did Oklahoma waste money on something like this? And, you know, yeah. we're gonna see this everywhere. We're gonna see it on, you know, road yeah. signs. We're gonna see it on, you know, a, a, a yes. apparel. swag. On some yeah, swag, like that t-shirt right there. Yes. Might as well flip, yeah, just show the people right there. Uh, so how much did this initiative cost? And then how much is it gonna cost moving forward to, sure. to rebrand all this, to see it in airports, right. to see it on road signs? How much is all this cost? Well, first off, none of this cost any taxpayer dollars. Uh, we have the Oklahoma Business Round table that helped us pay for all of this, uh, all private dollars. The state of Oklahoma was only probably in about a hundred grand. Uh, it, Colorado, when they rebranded, well over $800,000 uh, to date. Uh, so we have many private uh, citizens that, that have helped. Uh, Ch Chickasaw Nation, Mid-America Industrial Park helped from the beginning as well. We used existing dollars. So we have new uh, Welcome to Oklahoma signs, yes, going up today, literally today. Uh, that, that was used existing uh, within the existing budget of the Oklahoma Transportation Department. So moving forward, we are going to be looking for an appropriation to make sure that we have money to advertise. We would like to take this campaign into the Dallas and Fort Worth and Kansas City airports, talking about why we want people to start businesses here. Uh, be able to raise families in Oklahoma. So there will be an advertising cost of this moving forward, uh, probably in the million dollars range. Most states spend tens of millions of dollars inviting people to their states. Yeah. We have to do the same thing so that we create sales tax revenue here and create more jobs in the state of Oklahoma. Well, we're behind you on that one. Um, also, you know, this takes a lot of rollout. You know, as long, with these signs, obviously we're gonna start seeing, but websites as yes. well. Uh, when is that all gonna start changing? Yeah, I mean, I'm glad you mentioned websites. So the, our new oklahoma.gov website is a much better user experience for taxpayers. So it's not gonna take you 20 clicks to get to a license anymore. It's not gonna have 100 different logos. It's gonna be uniform branding through that website. So much more professional. I mean, anyone going to oklahoma.gov is gonna have a much better user experience 
experience, much more professional. And we've needed that for a very long time. Yeah. Absolutely. And so, I mean, with this, I mean, just the, the, the spirit of a new brand, you know, we didn't have a logo b before. We didn't right. really have a, a solid no. brand. I mean, what's, what's your hope for the future? I mean, this is going to last for, you know, decades yeah. from here on out. What's, what's your hope as Lieutenant Governor for the legacy of this brand? Well, I mean, you made a good point. We didn't have anything before. Uh, I, I think it's, uh, that's very important to mention. We didn't have a brand before. What we're trying to create both with the Imagine That tagline, we're really trying to say, hey, this, capture this surprise in Oklahoma, because everybody that comes to Oklahoma falls in love with Oklahoma. They're wowed by Oklahoma, but also tap into really the emotion of the American dream still lives in Oklahoma. You can still realize the American dream. You can start a business here, big or small. And so l l moving forward, I mean, I, I want to instill some pride in citizens. You know, I've got a 13-year-old daughter uh, who put the sticker on her Yeti cup that she, <laughs> takes, to, that she takes to school. That's and, some good and, product you know, placement there. And that's great product I mean, that to me, if, if my daughter's growing up in a state that she's proud of, uh, then I think we won. Yeah, yeah we all yeah. want to live here together in, right. in unity and just really embrace what Oklahoma is all about. That's right. All right, Lieutenant Governor Matt Pinnell, thank you thank so you. much for being here.